So we decided we had to get our lawn fixed because we've had some flooding for the last few years and so today they began. Oh yeah, that's our driveway. I'm like Tom Hanks on Money Pit. <laughs> Walter! <laughs> So I, uh, I'm excited for this to happen because this, uh, the contractor that we hired, he's a great guy, and, and I, I asked him, you know, I said, so what do we expect from you, and, you know, how long will this take? And he said, oh, well, this, you know, my goal is to get it done in two weeks. And I said, two weeks, really? Two weeks, two weeks, just like Money Pit is. <laughs> and I said, you know, the last few contractors we've hired, because I don't know how to fix anything, is, uh, you know, they tell us, like, one month, it'll be done in a month, and then, and then it's done in six months. And the bid they gave us, it's now doubled or tripled. And I understand that things change and that's tough, but I said, so if your goal is to get it done in six weeks, or in one, in, in two weeks, if your goal is really to get it done in two weeks, can I ask you this? Would you be willing to promise me that it'll be done in two weeks? He said, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know if we can promise that. And I said, here's what I promise you. If you can get this done in two weeks, I'm going to give you your full fee that you bid us out at plus 10% on top because that's how much I need it done on time. And he goes, oh yeah, no, it'll be done in two weeks. <laughs> so how do we keep each other accountable with the promises and the things that we say that we'll do? Uh, that was just a normal everyday example and it's the example on my yard. Have a good day.